party. I'm off the my in the lead. That's why I'm over retarded. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl LaShonda Devon back with another video. Today we are gonna take these Miel product, the leave-in conditioner and the curl smoothie. I'm gonna do my hair just using these two products only. I just took my hair out from some braids. I just had um probably like six cornrows. Took them out. So what I'm gonna do is use my water bottle if I could find it. Do is use my water bottle, mist my hair, add the product. And I'm gonna let you guys know what these products are hitting on. So Without further ado, let's just get into this video. Okay. All right, guys, so since my hair is dry, I'm misting it with water so that once I add the product, I can really feel how it's working through my strands. So now we're gonna put the Miel leave-in conditioner into my hair. I just added a couple pumps into my palm. And upon smelling it, it smelled like a fruity smell. It wasn't too harsh, it was very light smelling. And then once I put it into my hair, I noticed how my hair took to the product. It felt like I would get some slip once I started detangling. So I was satisfied so far with this product. So now I'm adding in the curl smoothie and once again I just put a couple pumps into my palm and I noticed right away that this product was a little bit thicker and thicker products for my hair seal in moisture so I was happy with that. So now I was just trying to find out how the detangling process was going to go with both of these products in my hair because normally I got my routine as far as um, detangling products are concerned. So. This did add slip, so these are some products that I would consider adding into my detangling process. So now I'm adding more of the curl smoothie into my section so that I can start shingling out these curls. Now I noticed that there was a little delay and the curls becoming defined, which I just figured that the product just works through your hair a little bit slower so that it penetrates each strand. So I was satisfied once they did become defined. The curls are really, really soft. They clump together and the curl smoothie was really impressing me so far. So as I mentioned earlier, there was a delay in the curls forming and I'm wondering if it's because I started on dry hair rather than wet hair. But either way, once the curls did form, they were super bouncy and juicy. So as you can see, the front of my hair has a looser curl pattern than the back of my hair, but once again, the slip was effortless. However, the curls seemed a little bit frizzier in the front. So I continued adding in more of the curl smoothie, hoping that these curls would define themselves. However, it still seemed to be a bit frizzy, but I was hoping for the best with this product. So after finishing the side of my hair, I noticed that the frizz was actually working for me. It gave my hair some life on this side and I actually liked the way it turned out. So now I'm just repeating this process on the other side of my hair. I spritzed it with water, added the leave-in conditioner and the curl smoothie. I'm shingling out the curls and hoping that it gives me as much life as the other side. So now that I'm finished adding the product, I'm just toying with the idea of having a side part because y'all know I stay with my middle parts. So I'm just playing with the curls, fluffing them out, and just showing you guys how the products took to my hair. But y'all know me. I'm going back to that middle part, and then we're going to talk about these products.
All right, middle part back popping. And once again, here are the products that I used. Let me know down in the comments how you guys think this wash and go came out. Let's talk about these products. So the leave-in conditioner, it um, it feels like a regular conditioner, like a, a, a washout conditioner. It says that it's a moisturizing curl primer and detangler for thick, curly, type four hair. So I definitely think it did help with my detangling process. Help with the slip. It smells really, really good. It smells like a berry slash, like a berry slash honey smell. It leaves your hair really soft. So I recommend the leave-in conditioner helped with the slip and that's really important for my type of hair. And then the curl smoothie is like a lotion consistency. And this actually sealed my hair more. This leaves a cast. I don't know if the cast will stay on there after the after your hair dries, but it definitely leaves a cast on your hair. So make sure that you blend it and you rub this product in because you don't want it to be white after it dries. But overall, this is a cute wash and go. If you guys see my other wash and goes, go check those out. I'll put the links in the description. My other wash and goes with like wet line extreme, it leaves my hair like elongated. This product, I kind of got some shrinkage, but it's thick. So it gives you some definition, it gives you some body. I don't have like a diva cut or anything, but it kind of formed its own little curl pattern. And I think it's really cute. I think that if I dry my hair and diffused it, this will be a bomb, nice and fluffy wash and go because the product helped clump the curls together. It's a looser curl, which I like. And it's definitely defined. I don't have anything else on my hair except for these two products. And I think that this wash and go actually came out really good. I think that if I did add some gel, it will probably define the curls even more. But with just these two products, I'm really satisfied with how this wash and go came out. It does seem like it has a little bit of frizz. Shy, you think it's frizzy? My daughter thinks that it could be a little bit more defined. She thinks that there's a little bit of frizz. Um, but overall, I like it. Let me know in the comment section if y'all like it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Put on your post notifications. Turn on your post notifications so that you'll be... So that you're aware. <laughs> Turn on your post notifications so that every time I upload, you will know. Okay? So, join the family. Make sure that you guys let me know what y'all think of these two products. If you tried them before, let me know. But I think that Miel products are really, really bomb. They smell really good. And like I said, I think my hair turned out cute. For just these two products with no gel, I think it came out nice. So y'all let me know. Um, y'all let me know. It's so soft, guys. It just feels like my hair is so moisturized. And this is how I like my hair to feel like after a wash day. So I'll be curious to know what it will look like if my hair was drenched wet after like a uh, um, wash day. So this is on dry hair. I just missed it and did my wash and go like this. I'm going to try it on wet hair and see what it does. But thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in for my next video. You know what I'm saying? Ride with your girl. Subscribe. Share this video. See y'all next time. Bye. Oh my guys, before I go, I wanted to shout out Miel Organics. It might be Miel, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but they posted my hair on their story and I was so honored because I wasn't expecting it. So here is their products. You can go to CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, purchase yours. And all right, y'all, I'm really out this time. See y'all in the next video.